Hey everyone and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson we're going to learn how to create our first first table. In order to do that simply click on the create tab here at the top and click on the table icon. And there you have it, you have our first table appearing as a name of table one in the top left corner. And what I wanna do is I wanna start adding data to this table. And I'm gonna choose customer data. Microsoft Access is very, very useful with filtering and working with customer information. So let's start with an account number. I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, press enter. The first name is Jane, last name Smith. And I'm gonna enter the address for this particular customer. So 100 New York Avenue, New York. And finally, her email address is jane.smith at example.com. All right, so there you go. You have your first record in your first table and you can always go here in the top left corner and save it. So Access will ask you, do you wanna save it as table one? And I'm gonna say yes. All right, so let's enter our second record for another customer. So I'm gonna say for the account number, one, two, three, four, six. First name is John, last name is Smith. Uh, the address is 100 Madison Avenue. York and the email address is john.smith at example.com. All right, so now we have two customer records, and as you noticed, we have a customer ID column here in the in the left corner. So what it is, it is simply an automatic number assigned by Microsoft Access so it can identify records by a unique number within this database or table. That's all it is. All right, so let's go ahead and save this information. By the way, if you need to pause this video at any time so you can enter your data, please feel free to do so and we can continue right after that. All right, so now we have our first table with two customer records. They're unique records identified by five and six. What we don't have at this time are the proper fields. We have field one, field two, and field three here at the top, but we don't actually have the proper names for these fields. We cannot really go here and rename it. Um, Access does not let us do that. What we have to do is we actually have to click here on the view icon in the top left corner. So let's just click on view and access opens a design field. So what it is is this is the area where you can actually enter um, or change field names and change the data type for the field names. So the first field is ID and it is an outer number. We know what that is, we're not gonna change it. For the field one, let's make it more intuitive and I'm just gonna say first name. Actually, the first field was an account number. So let's leave it as, a, as an account number and it's gonna be a number as a format or data type. So let's leave it in that, at that for now. Field number two is the first name Number three was the last name. Field number two, number four was the address. And field number five was the email address for our customer database. Okay, so there we have it. We changed our field names. Now, of course, I'm gonna save it. And in order to go back to my table view, 
I simply have to click on the view icon here in the top left corner. So I'm just going to click on view and go back to my original database that we created. And here we have our new table names or labels. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on each just to make sure that I see every single name for each column. And it looks much better. It's much more intuitive and easier to understand. And I can probably work with this table much faster. This is it for today's lesson and thanks very much for watching.